Just like scarves, the trades that go our way, well, they aren't really that fun to talk about. I know that because you told me so in a poll that you took several months ago. So I'm going to show you one of our scars. I'm going to tell you the story behind it so that hopefully you can learn from it and it'll help you be a more successful and profitable option trader. The first trade I want to share with you is in a position that we've been in since August of last year or about five and a half months ago. Corning, ticker symbol GLW, is an electronics component technology and innovation company. It has a long track record of being profitable. As such, on August 13th, with Corning coming down and approaching the red 200 moving average, where the white arrow is, and with volume decreasing, as you can see at the purple arrow, I felt like the selling pressure in Corning was starting to subside. I believe that it would most likely find support at this red 200 moving average here on the daily chart. Because of that, we sold the third Friday of September $40 put option and got paid $1.11 per share. We were lined up to get a really nice return over the next month if this worked out for us. Now you see the daily chart up until a few days ago. As you can see, over the past five and a half months, Corning has pretty much been in a downtrend on this chart. For about two and a half weeks after we did this trade, Corning performed pretty much exactly like we expected it to, it was finding support at this red 200 moving average. However, on September 1st, Corning broke below the red 200 moving average and has been below it ever since. I mean, this thing was like an Old West gunfight. Every time we turned around, it was shooting at us. It just kept dropping and dropping. So the first tip I want to share with you is that it's very important when a position goes against you that anytime you have the opportunity to improve your position, it's important to take advantage of that opportunity. Here you see us take advantage of every opportunity given to us. In fact, we took advantage of those opportunities every single month since we entered this position. As you can see at the red arrows, every single month we roll the strike price down by a dollar. Now a dollar may not sound like much until you calculate that all in, we rolled our strike price down from $40 to $36. That's 10% that we've been able to roll our strike price down over the past five and a half months. So what kind of return we're able to generate on a position that consistently went against us since we entered it? In all, we're in this position for five and a half months. We ended up putting a net of $1,592 into our pocket. At the end, we had $28,800 at risk. If we annualize that return, it equates to just over a 12% annualized return on capital. Not bad for a position that went against us almost the entire time. Now you see the chart up until the day that we exited this position. On January 26, when Corning announced earnings, it beat earnings by a few cents and it jumped up in price. I waited a few days until most of the value of that option was gone and the cash secured put that we had sold and I closed the position out. I was happy to get out of it and even happier once I ran the return and saw that we were able to get a decent return on a position that nagged us for five and a half months. When you have a position going against you, if it doesn't look like it's going to turn back into your favor, don't hope and pray that it will get better better. Do something about it. Make it better and improve the odds of you winning that position long term. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades similar to the ones I spoke about in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more tips and tricks on how we fix option positions that have gone against us, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Option Repair Strategies. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.